Hi guys, this is Athala. We recording part 32 of my project hospital walkthrough. So the last time we were having problems with our prestige, that was one thing. And then we were also having a problem with our budget. God, it's so hard to make money in this game. But I think there are games that are more punishing than this. Anyway. So the only problem is we have to pass time until we can reach that point where where we have enough money to pay back our loan. So you can see here from all this, we've been on a building spree every day and we're paying the price. Why does that have to be something that I can't do? Right, let me get my bearings here. I'm not sure what I did in the last episode. Yes, I actually reduced the... critical level of the various buildings. Oh, this is still critical. So the thing is they want us to hire even more staff and it isn't going to give me anything in terms of money. This makes it so tough. Internal medicine, right? Let's see what's going on down here. Right, first things first, we need to make money so that we can pay back the loan we took out last time. Yeah, we have a huge loan on our hands. We have to pay it back. So Two Point Hospital has had, a, uh, had an expansion. Project Hospital didn't have one, and we're kind of forgetting about this game most, for most people, that's true, I guess. Okay, we reached 90% prestige for any. I wish we could see the bonus objective number 10 right after we see number 9 so I can know what this will give me. So right now this should be our goal. Of if it comes with a 50,000 government grant. Internal medicine. I 
I don't know what is wrong here. Because this department is the lowest in prestige. I think it's the dirty floor around here. Maybe we can change that. We can't do anything at the moment. With that negative income. And we can't do anything for a while. Because we need to stabilize our income and pay off that loan. So she's waiting for something too. I mean, in my opinion, I've spent so much on the general surgery department. It should be our best department. Right, no choice but to continue. We've tried changing doctors, but I don't know if that's going to work. Regular hospitalization, let's see. We have two regular wards. And still... I don't know how many patients I can handle for hospitalization here. So our ambulance had brought another patient. So, the on-call room is overworked. So eventually we need to buy a new, med new ambulance. Right, so the CT room. I think we've added another one. X ray room, we didn't add the CT room. We can do nothing until we earn, start earning more money. And something needs to be done about that.
the tension increase the volume. Can anyone hear the music? No, right? Probably not. I'm talking to myself here. No waiting room for the cardiographic unit. Isn't it this? This is the waiting room for the cardiology clinic. Don't know what's going on. The thing is we have constantly collapsing patients and we need more space. If, I've, if I'd known we need so much space, I'd build the rooms bigger. But affording these hospital beds themselves is so expensive. Time and spending anything. We've lost the patient that's sure to affect prestige. Like we tried our best. And let's pay off our loan. Okay, we've paid off our loan. But we're still going to be cash strapped for a while now. So the biggest problem with this department is everything is everyone has a critical workload. I think I have some money so I could add nurses. On call room and nurse station. Oh 
Okay, let's add another desk here. You see there, paper holder there, and the chair there, and let's add an Right, that should decrease the workload. So this guy has really bad traits. Let's see which departments, which rooms have that critical workload. Workload is high, but not critical. High here as well. Write the diagnostic unit. I mean, every problem solution is money. Have to speed up the game and so I read somewhere eventually hospitalization should also bring in money but it's a long-term investment. The people come and they, the patients come, sorry, and they occupy the beds for a long time, then they pay and leave if we treat them properly. We can't do anything about that right now. Two employees got drunk last night, which isn't a great thing. All right, let's aim to get in positive numbers now. Okay, let's send her to 
to the other doctor if that works. So our hospital is dipping lower and lower in prestige. By the night, oh, it dipped even lower. And the intensive care unit is part of the problem. We have two beds free. Nurses station, that's critical. Eventually we'll need to find a solution for this. We have plants everywhere, like, I don't know what else I can do. Maybe make these pathways here? Not pathways, what do you call them? Corridors. So no one is going here because there's no door. All right. I forgot, we lack money, we can't do anything. I just get the urge to, you know, spend. Just spend something to change the situation in the various departments. So we are gradually earning with hospitalization as well. But as I said, it's long-term investment. Come on, keep him alive. We can't let another patient die here. There's some emergency treatment going on there. They're all overworked. With 53 patients and 81 doctors, they're still overworked. So this is the weirdest hospital ever. The patient-doctor ratio. For poor countries, it's really large. But even for a normal hospital in America or Canada, I mean, it's insane. You can't have, at least, you usually have at least five times or ten, even ten times the patients over the number of doctors you have. Oh wow, we're going well today. 38 patients, no one's... Why isn't the sky moving? Oh, I think there's a bug here too. It's gone. We can build on another floor if we want to. In the day, at least the prestige goes up. So general surgery department and intensive care unit are the worst 
in our hospital. We have some money. How should we spend it? All right, let's build a new nurse's station. And we still afford it. So I don't really like the idea of having a nurse station so far away here. And we have another door. But there just isn't space to build anything in our hospital anymore. Tire. I hope that improves things that I really hope that improves things like this hospital has become a disaster see it's still so low I have to do something about this that's I don't have any choice So let's see. All right, so we've reduced the load, but two areas of our house of our general surgery department are still critical workload wise. Right, the day workload here is critical as well. Diagnostic unit, right. We could add one more. You know what, let's do that. Let's add another.
Okay. This is going to cost quite a bit. Oh, not enough funds once again. It's a constant battle with cash over here. Right, let's get some money then. We can complete that here, diagnostic unit too. Should I take another loan? That's the problem with us. I mean, the prestige isn't optimal during the day, but it decreases so much during the night. I think we've started earning through hospitalization, which is a very great development. I didn't know you can earn this much through hospitalization. So it's a short term, it's a, it's a risk to build all the hospitalization buildings, but in the long term, it seems to pay off actually. We have to do something about this night prestige of us. So I think another thing Project Hospital could add would be like scenarios. Like let's say running a hospital in Pakistan and all the patients names would be Pakistani too. But I mean that would present unique challenges and would present to the world how difficult it is to be a doctor in a developing country. So they could show union strikes and that's a bad way to represent Pakistan, but you know, they could show that doctors get paid very little and have an, a huge workload on the other hand. Alright, so guys, I think I'm going to stop there. Thank you for watching. This is the end of this part. Visit our site. Visit our Instagram, Facebook and Twitter links. Thank you for watching once again. Like and subscribe. Bye.